what's up guys another episode of tune engines and on today's video we're going to be changing out the distributor on the 71 c10 all right guys so the reason why i'm going to be changing my distributor is because like this one has given me problems because like it's all cracked and broken and when i was going down the highway this thing popped off and i was like oh no oh no so whenever i want to take this off i can't because all these screws are all stripped off so it's it's old i got a new one so we're gonna go ahead and switch it out and by the way guys this is what it's doing whenever like i'm driving down the highway like these always come undone for some reason i guess from the harmonics of a car and it always goes like this and it keeps on cracking and cracking and make it but yeah so today we're gonna be replacing this all right guys so we're gonna be replacing the distributor the whole thing and also we're gonna be uh putting the truck back to um tdc so we're gonna put the, the we're gonna put it back top of the center and put the actual degrees of uh, timing it needs so yeah let's go ahead and start that all right guys and also the only i know like i was gonna do the spark plug video but i'm actually gonna go ahead and leave it to the next video because i couldn't get the the correct wires in so i was like let me go ahead and fix the distributor since it has to be fixed anyway and on the next video hopefully show you how to change out the spark plugs but yeah let's get on to the video okay guys so the distributor is what makes electricity which sends it to the spark plugs so you can go ahead and get spark and combustion when uh it ignites with the fuel okay guys so the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is uh take off the advanced timing which is this little thing so basically whenever your car starts speeding up when the rpm goes up uh this is like a vacuum point where uh the firing order faster so we're gonna go ahead and take this off go right to the side all right guys so now we're gonna go ahead and use this little green tool so we can pull off these uh, spark plug wires so one all right guys now we can go ahead and take off the the top of the yes. but first we have to uh, take off for my for my rpm gauge inside the truck and this one i'm not sure what it does honestly. take out this whole thing all right the next thing guys we can go ahead and take off the whole distributor which actually has a ball at the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and take it out okay guys. Right. all right let's see which one can it be which one can it be it's gonna be 14 let's go get our ratchet and then guys you want to go ahead and put it in and Lefty Lucy. So come over here. Best in the world. Alright guys, so now we can go ahead and take off the distributor. Okay, guys, so now what we're gonna do is uh, get the shooter and gently uh, take it out. And also, don't forget that there's gonna be a gasket on there, so make sure it doesn't fall. And you can see, guys, right here, I'm taking off the gasket. And we're gonna put it aside so we can use it for installing the new one. Alright, guys, so this is a new one. As you can see, this one looks a little more like beefcake, it looks beefier than the other one. And then this is the old one. Okay, guys, so you can see right here, I'm pointing to the point. This is what makes contact with the rotor inside the distributor. And as you can see, it's not too worn down, so that means it's good. All right, guys, so the reason why I'm going to change it out is because like, you can see, like, the cap is all broken. Like, it was just causing a bunch of pain. So we just had to go ahead and get a new one and change it out. But yeah, this is the old one, and this is the new one. As you can see, this one looks a little bit more... Uh, if you're it's probably gonna have more spark than this one okay guys so what i like to do is i go ahead and get a paper towel to cover up the distributor hole so no dirt debris or anything can find there and cause engine damage all right guys so now we're gonna go ahead and take off the spark plug because uh we, we're gonna put the engine back on tdc and we have to make sure that the cylinder one is on all the way to the top and on its compression stroke so now we're gonna go ahead and go through here get our um spark plug uh socket Get a small extension. Put it over here. 
right here, and then take off the spark plug. So we're gonna go ahead and put the socket into the spark plug right there. And And I'm gonna leave it in the burner. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and take off the spark plug we just don't lose. And what I like to do is I'll get a damp paper towel and go ahead and put in the hole for the spark plug number one. So I can go ahead and know whenever the engine is in its compression stroke in cylinder one. So now guys, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plate right here. It's as easy as uh, these two bolts. So I can go ahead and get access to turning over the engine. Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and get our owner's manual for the truck. I really like these. These are super duper information, information on whenever you're going to fix your car. And we're actually going to go ahead and get the information from this to go ahead and put the truck on its actual uh, timing degree needs. So we're going to go ahead and open up. I already got the page. And then you can see right here that since we have a 1971, a 292 cubic inch engine, we can go ahead and follow it. Then this is the spark plug gap. We're going to do that next video. You can see right here it says uh, 4 degrees before uh, TDC. So we so we know it's 4 degrees. Okay, so now that we know the degrees, as you can see right now, I'm pointing to 0, which is a TDC for cylinder 1. So what we have to do is uh, the, each dash represents 2 degrees. So we have to go back 2 degrees before the 0. So we can go ahead and put it on 4 degrees before it top dead center. And the pulley right now, it has a groove. You can see right there, and that's uh, where we have to line up to those two lines before the zero. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and start turning the engine over by hand. We're going to get our socket and our ratchet, and we're going to get extended so we can get more leverage. So now we're going to go ahead and put the socket on the bolt for the engine. And now we can start turning it. And now we're going to keep on turning it until we get to the compression stroke. And that's why I put the paper towel there. So as soon as we get to the compression stroke, it's going to start rolling up pressure and pop the paper towel out. As you're going to see right now, it popped out. That means we're in the compression stroke. If we can go ahead and just line up the groove. Okay, guys, now you can go ahead and see the groove. And you can see right now we're in advanced timing. So we're going to keep on turning it clockwise until we get two dashes before the zero, which will be four degrees. And as you can see, we're going to turn it and right there, four degrees. So now that means we got the engine in the perfect timing. And as you can see guys, the cylinder is all the way on the top. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's all the way at the top on cylinder one. Alright guys, so now that we got the engine on top dead center, we know that cylinder one is on all the way up on its compression stroke. We want to make sure it's on a compression stroke, not the exhaust stroke. But you can go ahead and start putting the new distributor back in. The way you're going to go ahead and set up your distributor is go ahead and get a screwdriver and take off the cap. And you want to go ahead and take it off. Okay, so this guy, this is going to be the way you're going to make sure that's going to be turning. You want to make sure that you put it in the right location. For example, since we're going to have cylinder one fire first, whichever, wherever we're going to put the new plug wire, we have to make sure it's in the right place. Put the gasket in. So you're going to go ahead and put the gasket and put this in here. And you want to keep on turning until it sits perfectly. Right there, it's already sat down all the way, guys. And right now, this is not moving anymore because it's locked into the engine. So now, after this, you want to make sure that you want to know where this little top is. This is the thing that spins around and makes spark for the for the spark plugs. So now, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go like this. Make sure it's in the right location. And then we're gonna go ahead and mark it right there, guys. Okay, now guys, you can go ahead and get the ball that holds on the distributor. And you can go ahead and put it back on and start turning it by hand until it starts getting tight. And then once it starts getting tight by hand, guys, you can go ahead and get your socket with your ratchet. So you can go ahead and turn it down all the way so it doesn't move anymore. All right, guys, and now you can see that since we turn it down, it's not moving anymore. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the spark plug back in. So you want to go ahead and turn it down to it. Okay guys, now you can get your socket and your ratchet, make sure it's turning clockwise to turn it and then you can go ahead and put it and start turning it down and once it's snug, turn it one more time so you don't over time. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the cap back on 
So I always like to hook this thing up first. Like this. And then. Okay, so now that we have it on. Turn these down. Like that. Perfect. Okay, now guys, you can go ahead and put your Vacuum Advance back on. And just like that, it's ready to go. Okay, hey guys, so now we're going to go ahead and hook up our battery wire and our tachometer wire. In this case, since I know which one's the tachometer wire, we're going to go ahead and put that one first. Since I put my tack on. And then we're going to go ahead and put on the battery wire right next to it. And this is all ready to go now. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and look at our book again. Because like I said, these are super duper informational. We're going to go ahead and open it. And then you can see right here, since we have an inline six, this is our Friday order. So it's one, five, three, six, two, four. You have to make sure you follow that order in case, or else your car's going to run all weird and misfire a lot. So we have our spark plug wires here, and we're going to go ahead and hook them up. Okay, guys, so right now I got spark plug wire number one. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and put it on this terminal right here. Because you remember the point is right underneath this cap pointing to this terminal. So we're going to go ahead and put in spark plug wire number one. And then connect to the spark plug. And this one's ready to go. Now we can move on to the next one. Okay, guys, so right now I'm actually going to go ahead and switch uh, the last two because uh, I put them in backwards. So it's always good to double make sure you put them in the right spot and you have the right farting order because then if not, you can mess up your engine really bad and cause some spark knock. Okay, guys, so now we can go ahead and check our farting order just to make sure we have it in the right spot. So we have one, five, three, six, four, two. So let's go over here. And now we can go ahead and start putting them where we go. So this one's number six. And now guys, we can go ahead and turn on the truck. So let's go ahead and do that. And then give it two. We can turn on. Oh snap, you can see it turned on right away. Alright guys, the last thing is going to go ahead and put our uh, fan cover back on. So this one's simple, just put it on bolts in. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and keep this uh, distributor just in case for emergency, uh, cause it works. It's just that the cap is all uh, busted. But I wanted to go ahead and replace the whole thing, just to make sure I have a brand new one in there. Well, that's it for this video, guys. And on the next video, I promise you, I'll, I'll show you how to change your spark plug, wires, coils, and everything for your car. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.